What's the crack, lads? What's going on? Uh, there I am with my Messi here. And speaking of Messi, we are going to be taking a look at this new campaign and new stuff that's coming, right? I've got a lot to say about this. I will cover it in my live stream, but I'll just give you a quick weekly roundup as we usually do, right? So we have a nice, well, let's just say we've got a video here, right? We've got a video here. I like this campaign, lads, but it needs to be extended out, man. I mean, kits, uh, players, login bonuses, it just doesn't cut it at this stage in the game's, um, you know, life cycle, right? This new kit is nice, but I was expecting it to be a free, a freebie or else with eFootball points. But you can see there that there is a special login campaign. We'll talk about that in just a second. We also get a Day of the Dead campaign. Obviously, this is to celebrate that time as well. We've got another graphic here. Um, and again, Messi is just in a similar clip, you know, a nice little finish, lovely little kit. I mean, these sort of things are nice, and I do I do appreciate that they're trying new things, um, but we're going to get to it in a second. The rest of that is just there, right? Uh, as normal, the legends that they showed are just kind of rinsing and repeating that trailer within that trailer, okay? So I'm going to hide my webcam here for a second, right? And we're going to talk about these two new campaigns. So the first one is a Halloween campaign, and what you're going to be getting with this is you're going to be getting a free special login present. You're going to be getting the three boys there. You will be able to earn a Bayern Munich players with Halloween inspired designs as login presents, as well as partaking in various special events and objectives. So you've got a special login bonus. You get 100 coins, 40,000 XP and 100,000 GP. And then you're going to be getting the three boys as well as you see there. We'll take a look at those cards. Down in the bottom left, you'll see that there is an on sale sign for a new kit, right? We'll get to that in a second, but there is also campaign objectives, tour objectives, and the challenge event, right? So when we go into this here, it just tells you that you'll get your login presence. You get tell number one, limer number two, and then the licked last, right? These logins will be on the 26th, 28th, and the 31st. So everybody's going to get those three players. They're also running special login bonuses, as you can see there. But the campaigns, you'll need to obviously complete yourself, right? We'll get to that in just a sec. Day of the Dead is very similar, right? So it's pretty much rinse and repeat. Again, you've got another kit down in the bottom left hand uh, for sale. You've also got special login presents there. You get a highlight, Liga MX, Day of the Dead. This is obviously the Day of the Dead to tie in with Mexico and that event and that um, celebration that they do over there. You've also got the tour event. And within this one here, it says that in conjunction with Day of the Dead, in conjunction with Day of the Dead, we are holding a special campaign, introducing a special player list that includes five Liga BBVA MX uh, players with Day of the Dead inspired designs, you'll be able to earn up to five chance deal through login bonuses and tour events. So you'll be able to get all of these players as well. And there's the special login bonus there and uh, the strip as well there as well. It's going to be running for another month, right? So this is all going to be earned as well from login bonuses, but you'll also get uh, events as well. So you can see there the login bonuses. We've got our Day of the Dead. We've got our Halloween campaign, uh, Matthias Tell. And we've got the rest of our rewards there that we get just from playing the game, right? The other stuff that you're going to be able to get from within here are in new events. So you've got a Day of the Dead AI event. You've got a European Club AI event. That's going to be the Halloween one as well. You've got this new one, Penalty Shootout, right? So this is a special event. It's a penalty shootout only event. Play user matches and complete challenges to earn skill training programs, level training programs, and more. So this is just penalties. I don't know, man. I like, I like this stuff, but it's just, for me, it's not enough at this stage, right? I do appreciate that they're trying different things. They are working on a big update and we're going to have to probably wait a little bit maybe for the next big giant update to come. But it's just adding pressure to that update for that when eventually it does come. It's going to have to bang, man. It's going to have to be an absolute beastly update. But you do have the rest of them there. And then, of course, we have our user matches um, and the AI matches. And this one is still ongoing. And any of the rest of them are still ongoing as well, right? So this Day of the Dead one there is in uh, the Dream Team events. Um, and with the authentic matches... They still have the USL back here. So this is back now for another 60 days and you can get a load of uh, rewards in there, right? But let's talk about kind of the players and stuff that they've added as well, right? We still don't have a mention in here of anything coming apart from, um, you know, like skill points and all that sort of stuff or eFootball points. They talk about a booster issue as well. They give compensation. They will be giving compensation for that. But mostly when people are looking at this now, when they're like checking on out the game, we do notice that we have some new kits here. So these kits are 500 coins each. Yes, not 500 e-football points, not 5,000 e-football points, 500 coins. So essentially they're going to cost you about five, a fiver, right, in your own currency, roughly around that. Um... Yeah, I mean, listen, the designs are pretty decent. They are pretty nice. I think that they should have been in, in a way to earn them. I mean, why not get it that, like, you know, if you got to Division 3 
um, within the week that you get like the Day of the Dead kit. And if you got to Division 1, you get the Halloween kit. Just to add something, I mean, 500 coins, yes, if a couple of hundred thousand people buy these kits, which I'm sure that they will, it will make them money. But they could have added this as kind of a bonus as well that you could unlock it, you know, that you could actually work your way towards it, right? Um, so let me know your thoughts on that there, the two designs there, I mean, I do like the designs, I do like this one, the Halloween one looks pretty cool, um, you know, it, it looks pretty decent, but for 500 coins, I think it is a bit sticky, it's a, it's a difficult one to, to talk about, and, uh, or a different, not to talk about, but it's a difficult one to, um, to discuss without obviously, you know, making a decision personally, because it's like with packs, man, it's like with these packs that they have out, this player of the week, you know, for somebody that has five or 600 coins to spend, some of these players might be actually decent, but for somebody like me, it's kind of like, mm, do I really want to part with 500 coins for a kit when I could get five players here, or I could do potentially towards the spin, um, if I haven't been playing the game so long, you know what I'm saying, it's like, the 500 coins is 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 a lot or it's nothing depending on your your circumstances um which is kind of where the conversation you know needs to needs to kind of go i suppose we also have the j league monthly mvps as well so these are boosters you've got the special showtime players here um that have a different one so this guy's got ball carrying and uh, he's going to be a good player, I think, but we will do a review on him as well. But mostly it's about the kits, lads. It's about the new campaigns, the new um, the new stuff that's there. There is nothing in the eFootball point shop at the moment. Um, that is, you know, you have the packs that have now been added to that. But in terms of this, there is nothing in the eFootball point store. Um, we only have five legends left. And within the next 50 or 60 days, there's only going to be two left if they don't add any more. So I reckon that they will add a big update. We don't have the strips in there either. That eFootball Origin strip, that was available for 5,000 eFootball points. But the new ones are for coins. So let me know what you guys think, lads. Honestly, let me know what you guys think. It's... You have your new objectives as well as a weekly update. We always cover that. If you haven't completed the Neymar one, you have another week to do that. Like, I like the fact that you can earn coins. Like, you can earn about maybe 300 coins um, a week if you get, like, you know, the special login bonuses, you complete the campaign bonuses, and you do all the objectives. You can get about 300 a week, which I think is fine because it means that you can save up and you can actually grind um, for the kit that you need to get over, you know, that's where the grind kind of comes in. But I would prefer it to be a more streamlined, seamless kind of like, you know, objective to actually unlock rather than having to grind coins and then buy the kit. I think it would just be cooler if you could just, you know, get rid of the coins altogether there for that with these two new strips and literally just buy the, just work towards the kits. But let me know what you guys think. You know, it would add a bit of longevity to the game. It'd add a little bit of something to the game. Um, let me know. Even they could have done an event for it, you know, where it's like, you know, get 10,000 points within this event using players from this, you know, and Liga MX and give something somebody, give somebody something different to play for that doesn't want to play divisions. But yeah, that is it for me, lads. I will talk to you guys in a bit. Let me know your thoughts. I'm keen to get your thoughts in and uh, don't forget to check out the live stream later. We will be back. We will be beasting, hopefully, and I'll see you then.